Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will look at the having clause in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to use the having clause in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. In my last video, I have shown you how to use the group by clause in the SQL Server and how to use the aggregate functions. So there were few aggregate functions like uh, sum, average, min, max and the count. So maybe I can share the link of that video in the description of the video. So if you want to know like how to use the group by clause then you can watch that particular video. Okay. So in this video I will talk about the having clause. So the having clause allows you to filter the results of the aggregate query. While the where clause filters the individual rows based on the conditions that are applied to each row in the table while the having clause filters the group of rows that are generated by the aggregation function such as sum, average, min, max or the count. So I got a table here, the orders table. So in this particular table, if I need to filter any record directly, then I can use the where clause while on the groups that will be generated using the group by query. If you need to filter out any records from the groups of the records, then you can use the having clause. Okay. So right now this particular table, it contains the customer's orders. Like we have the customer ID here, then we have the order date and the amount. Okay. So let me write a group by query here and let me see how much money a particular customer is spending. So I can write the group by query like uh, uh, let me just copy this query from here and I can write I can do a group by on the customer ID and uh, I can just sum up the amount. Okay. This will be as total amount from customers and group by customer ID. So if I execute this particular query, then it will give you the total amount of money spent by each customer. Like the customer ID 1, it has spent $150 and the customer ID 2, it has spent $200 and so on. Now if you need to filter out the data from this particular groups, so you can use the having clause. So suppose if you want to know like the customers, those have spent more than $300, then you can write the having clause. So I can write having and uh, total amount which is the sum amount so having some amount greater than 300 so it should return only these last three records okay so let me execute this query so now you can see that the having clause has been applied to the grouping of the records those returned using the group by query so you can use the uh, some function here you can use the count function min max average you can use any function here okay let me give another example to you so i got a names table here okay and in the names table i got three columns and if you look at the records here so the deb record and the akil record they these records are present more than one time so the count for these records will be more than one like it will be two or maybe three whatever okay but if you look at the rest of the records like the Raj record and the Sushma record, so these two records, they are unique, you know, they are not duplicate. So these two records, they are duplicate because they are present two times while these two records, Raj and Sushma, they are present just once. So they are unique. So now if someone asks you to get the unique records from the table or if someone asks you to find out the duplicate records from the table, which is a very common question like how to get the duplicate records from the table so you can use the group by query along with the having clause to get the duplicate records from the table okay so let me write a query here to find the duplicate records from the names table using the group by and the having clause so i can do the group by on all the three columns like the name dob and the age and i will use the count function because i want to know like how many times a record is present in the table. So I, I can call it as CNT from names. Now I can use a group by clause, group by, and I can copy all the three columns, okay? So if I execute this query, this, then it will show me the number of times a record is present in this particular table. So this Akil record and Deb record, they are duplicate because they are present two times. However, the Raj record and the Sushma record, they are present just one time. So now if I want to know like what are the duplicate records from this table so I can put a having clause here. So I can write the condition having and then I can just copy this condition having count star greater than 1. So now this having count star clause this will be applied to the aggregated records. Okay. So if I execute this query then it will return me the 
duplicate records from the names table. So you can see that the Akhil and Dev they are duplicate in this particular table because they are present two times in the table. Okay. So the having clause is applied to the aggregated values. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video and I will share the create table statement for the orders table and the names table and I will also share these two queries as well. You can download the script from the link in the description of the video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.